Hi there and welcome to January 2023 solar update. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So the month of January, 2023, what a month that has been. Really two halves this month. Um, you can see here straight away, the first half of the month from say, the 1st to the 16th was probably what a typical January looks like. Nothing more than, say, five kilowatt hours per day with some really bad days thrown in. So the worst day of the month being the 10th for me, at uh, 470 watt hours that day, and not much better, 700, uh, 875 there. With the best day, funnily enough, at the first half of the month, being the 2nd of January with just over 11 kilowatt hours. And then we had that cold snap in the middle of the month, which gave us some really bright, sunny days, which really made the difference this month to the numbers, as you can tell. I mean, how many days was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days in a row. You know, I was loving it. And then we went falling back down to earth with a 1.5 kilowatt hour day. And then the end of the week, oh, sorry, the end of the month, the last week in January was not bad either, really. So that middle clump there of those days was fantastic. I mean, the average there was nearly sort of 14, 15 kilowatt hours per day. Um, so it January was a really, really good month. What was the best day of the month? Oh, 17 on the 30th of January. So in total... As you can see at the top there, 24399, 244 really kilowatt hours uh, generated in January. So how does that compare with the other months? Well, we've rolled over to a new year now. So Solar Edge is showing the new year in green and the old year in uh, the light blue color. Don't look at March because that was just one week. <laughs> that wasn't the whole of March. That was just the first week of when I had my installation last year. So January at 244, I'm going to say, well, December, if you remember, was 166 and November was 180. So January has beaten November and December. Um, on October was 476. So that was a really good month in October. So are we on the way up now? I mean, I'm really interested to see what February is going to bring. Is it going to settle sort of back down again? Or are we on the way up now? Now the days are getting longer and you can tell that in the evening sort of to four uh, sunset sort of, you know, end of January, beginning of February being kind of 10 to five now uh, where I am. So those days are getting longer, more potential for sun. Um, and I can see these these graph is now going to sort of start going upwards, hopefully all the way to uh, to where April was last year. But it's going to be really interesting now to sort of fill in those blanks so I can actually get a full year uh, sort of to compare against. So here's the Hypervolt dashboard. Um, they've changed the analytics side of things. They changed the app and I think they've changed the desktop as well version because this is the first time I've come in. Um, so we've lost the kind of uh, line chart and we've now got a bar chart. So these are the charges i've put in the cars for the last 12 months so as you can see here january we did charge a little bit more than we did in december december was, was 295 and november's was 298 um, and we've actually put in 326 this time i don't think that was because uh, my wife charged her car overnight more i think this is because of the extra solar that we had in january i've put more in my car for free from the solar panels so what do we say 295 something like that yeah uh 326 so about 30 kilowatts um has gone into my car uh from the solar panels in january but overall 326 is what we used in kilowatt hours in january on the hypervolt 
So this is the My Energy account. This is where you can log on online and see uh, what your devices are up to if you don't want to use the app or in conjunction with the app really. So the Eddy here for the month we used 5.7 um, kilowatt hours in total. Um, I haven't been having it on overnight or paid for. This has all been free. This is all solar. So I've just been turning it on again a little bit more. I did turn it off sort of in December and let the boiler heat the hot water. But I've sort of found that if you have the sort of boiler turned off and then you use a bit of hot water, the eddy can kind of keep it topped up. So on some of the, some of the sunnier days, obviously second half of the month, you know, we've been putting in a little bit more um, just to, so when the sort of hot water tank heats up to full temperature and cuts off, and it says max temperature reach just kind of keeps it topped up so 5.7 kilowatt hours has been used by the eddy so this is how much electricity was exported during the month of january as shown on the octopus energy dashboard so this is the full month as you can see the first half of the month sort of mirrors well the whole month really just mirrors what solar edge have showed me on the production of the solar so the first half of the month uh, was very low export um, barely sort of nothing really 0 0.14 0 0.16 of a kilowatt hour and then in the second half of the month as we produced more solar we've exported more solar um, the highest day there 3.4 kilowatt hours another 3.1 and some 1.3s i try not to export too much really this is just when things are kind of ramping up and down um, and sometimes i may kind of not notice that we're exporting and then i'll kind of rush and try and turn something on and use it as I'm at home kind of most of the time. So yeah, a real uh, a month of two halves with the first half not exporting much and the second half exporting a bit more. So if we look at the year, uh, still very low, obviously, compared to the other months, the summer months. But in uh, November, we just did 25. December was only 18, but uh, 29 in January. So more than November which was 25 so we actually exported 29.43 kilowatt hours in the month of january right so this is the electricity usage what i imported from the grid in january as you can see here this isn't broken down into what i used overnight on cheap octopus go and what was the standard day rate this is just everything totaled up so we've as i said before we've just been putting uh, 18 kilowatt hours in the car kind of every night and also filling the battery up with the eight kilowatt uh, battery so on a standard day you would think you'd think it would be eight plus 18 so 26 plus a little bit when it's kind of running overnight during those hours as well so for instance there 26 26 29 27 27 that's like a full night with the car and the battery and when the car's not kind of charging, then you'll see lower values of kind of 8 to 10, really, um, when we're just filling up the battery and things like that. So a very standard kind of month for that, really. That doesn't really change at the moment, especially this time of year. So for the year itself, as you can see, it is very similar. So November's was 547 in total. December's was 601, so it's a little bit more. And then January was 585.1 kilowatt hours in total uh, coming from the grid. So let's have a look at some numbers now. And this is one of the numbers that if you've seen my videos before, I've been really interested in because I need to know if I need to buy another battery. Um, and at the moment, it's still not looking like it's going to be worth it at all. So this is the battery shortfall number. This is where the battery ran out of power in the evening. So I downloaded my Octopus Energy data, uh, ran a query on it in Access, and found out that I was looking for basically any power that I imported between 8 p.m. and midnight 30. Why midnight 30? Well, that's when my cheap rate starts again, and I start filling up the battery. And, you know, I have never run out before 8 o'clock in the evening. And the figure for January, I used only 11.8 kilowatt hours of electricity uh, between 8 and 12.30. Now, some of that may be because of the ramping up and ramping down. So it could have been as low as 10, really. 
but still at 40.1 pence at the moment that totaled four pounds 84 pence i mean that's really nothing um and, and at the moment it is not worth me spending two and a half thousand on us a five kilowatt hour uh give energy battery including vat and some fitting okay so on to some numbers january 2023 as billed by octopus energy uh, so my grid import during the day uh, was 19.89 kilowatt hours at 40.13 pence so that equaled seven pounds and 98 pence for the month in total so that would be sort of ramping up ramping down during the daytime plus that overnight shortfall that i just spoke about during the night time at 565 kilowatt hours so that's where i take or use most of my electricity mainly for filling up the battery and for filling up the i3 car which is 18 kilowatt hours so at 7.5 pence at the moment and my octopus go renews in about july time in 2023 um that was 42 pence sorry that was 42 pounds and 39 pence in total so not bad and that is actually 10 pounds less on electricity than december so not a great saving for the amount of uh, extra solar i've had coming in but i've been using it you know really i think i've just been putting that extra solar in my car to be honest or doing more things with it uh, so we exported 29.43 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence and that equaled £1.21. So the electric spend 50.37 in total minus the £1.21 gives me a total of £49.16, pence, not including the standing charge, which I'll come on to in a minute. So that covered the use of the workings of the house, some hot water a little bit, as you saw from the My Energy Eddy, and filling up the i3 whenever uh, it needed it. So just quickly moving on to gas. Now, I know we're talking about solar and electric, but I have been keeping the tabs on my gas. So the 1st of Jan to the 31st of Jan, I did a meter reading in the morning of the 31st of Jan. So I'm sort of calling it 30 days, really. Uh, 2850 kilowatt hours at 10p um, obviously it would be more expensive than that but that's because of the current government price guarantee scheme which equaled 293 pounds for the month on gas not including the standing charge so for the whole month the gas was 29384 the electric 4916 as i've said and the standing charges 26.84 pence a day times 31 gives us 8.32 and the electric 8 uh, 37.65 pence a day times 31 days is 11.67 so with the electric totals 49.16 plus 11.67 gives us a total of 60 pounds and 83 pence for the month and the gas 293 pounds 84 plus the eight pound 32 standing charge comes in at just over 300 pounds for the gas giving me a total uh bill of 363 for the month but you can see there obviously if it was summertime that gas 300 pound would be zero and i would just be paying probably 60 pounds for the electric or less so that was january thanks for watching uh, if you liked the video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.